Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Bailey Santley and this is Supermarket Simulator. Now it's been a few days since I've uh, showcased my supermarket because it was, the game was turning into a bit of a grind. Basically all I was doing was um, I needed to spend a few days basically literally just saving money. So I uh, thought I would just do a few days on my own. Oh, I'm going to... Uh oh. <laughs> Big run over. Spent a few days uh, just on my own. Just a few days in the shop saving money, buying a few things. And uh, it wasn't very interesting, so I thought I'll just come back and uh, pick up where I left off. And uh, this is what my shop looks like now. And you'll see our lovely cashier now has a twin, a little helper there. And this is the shop. So I've done a few different uh, little adjustments. Basically, I've expanded the shop. I've changed the way that I present products. I've put basically all of one product on one shelf, which makes it a lot easier to rearrange because one other thing you missed is that I rearranged uh, a number of times. <laughs> Just couldn't get, couldn't get it right for myself, basically. So I've done that. I've sort of organized them. Here's the oils, here's the flowers, you know, salt and rice, here's the pastas, coffee, tea, sugar, cereal, bread, peanut butter. There still is one little remnant of the old shelf layout here. As soon as these boxes of tea go, I'll finish filling these up. Um, the other thing you'll see is there are new products. So I don't think there's six packs of milk, this other type of flour, this type of oil. This rice might not have been here in the last episode. Also, drinks fridges. But two different types of soft drink. Cola, another cola, and then here is some other kind of drink probably Sprite but not Sprite. Here is some fruit juice and uh, milk, cheese and eggs I've already seen. So a few new things. Now the other thing that I've just unlocked is this doorway. I expanded my storage again and this door popped open which is great because this is what I had been doing. This little uh, store extension basically I'll just cut at this little square. So this is where I've been placing myself with my terminal and my boxes while the uh, two cashiers do all the heavy lifting. So I'll just get things underway. As you can see, I've, I'm fully stocked. Got a few spares here. Uh, I don't have any bills or loan, oh, sorry, I don't have any loan repayments. Um, this is what the stock looks like now. So there's been a couple of extra licenses bought. Okay, I'm level 22. I can get another cash here at level 30. Storage will cost me 1800 to expand again, but I haven't quite made use of that yet because as, as you see, I've been storing everything in here. That might be the next thing, but I do also want to expand my store again. That's $4,400, which is a bit pricey. Could get a professional loan. That's $450 a day, which seems like a lot. I don't think I'm really making that kind of money. Well, I'm certainly, certainly making it, but I'm not ahead by that much, if you know what I mean. If these guys uh, lift their game, anything's possible, I suppose. Actually, one thing I do want to look at is what the next license is. Cake, cake, candy, cereal. Chocolate bar, yogurt, bleach, cleaner, dishwasher, tablet, hand soap, shampoo, toilet paper. Bees, cheese, honey, tuna, eggs, sugar. Interesting. Beer. Beer, chips, hummus, and vodka. Crab stick, hot sauce, ice cream. <laughs> That's all very interesting. So what I could potentially do is, you know, aim for something like this license, which is purely cleaning products, expand the store and just make a little cleaning product nook here. Might be the way to go. Maybe that's what I should aim for. I wonder if it's worth getting this loan. 
would certainly help me out. What if I extend it out to 20 days? That daily payment comes down. Still paying yeah, quite a bit back. I'll take it. I'll take it and expand the store. There we go. Now I've got this section to play with. I still have a little bit of money left over from that, so I will grab some furniture. Uh, where's that? That's at the market. Shelves are 200. Grab three enough. I'll just do it, 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 it maybe. Freezer, I don't think I need yet. A rack. A rack probably wouldn't hurt at this point, but I'll I'll hold off for now. I'll grab these three shelves. I don't yet have that new license, but that will come. Okay. Plenty of customers. Wish there was a better way to do corners. Which I wonder if it's worth. Butting that one up to the wall a bit more. Maybe up to that line. Try and get them lined up somewhat. So I do like this having the option of just hiding a little box in the corner. So that's what I've been doing over here. But you know, spare spaghetti stock is just kept there, for example. Customers don't seem to mind, and it is out of the way. Let's see if I can envy some of these. That red pasta is still um, quick to go, I suppose because there's only eight per shell. Oil. But yeah, my predictions were right. At this point in the game, my job is, during the day, basically, keep those shelves stocked. I don't need to serve anymore, which is great, but it's just never-ending restocking and ordering. Which is what it's all about. Um, more oil. Oh yeah, I, I'm guessing that the next uh, employee type that will uh, be released will be potentially a, a restocker. I should have seen an announcement that um, apparently the future plans include not only that, but um, things like food expiry, self-serve checkouts. But over time, your supermarket must be able to get pretty big, I, I, I'd imagine, for that kind of thing to be happening. How's that? Looks pretty ugly. Probably need a light. Well, they're worth 40 bucks. Grab three. The store is still terribly dark. Another one, maybe middle here somewhere. Looks horrible. We're all over the place, but that's okay. better. It certainly didn't look how I imagined it would. Maybe maybe that oil shelf needs to come out of there. 
this is basically what you miss in those few days I had off. I uh, basically just moved things around multiple times. I had the store layout completely different. I had these tellers or the cashiers over here. Um, and that because this was just that little nook originally before I expanded here and here, and uh, it just yeah, it didn't, didn't work. How's this going to look if I spin the oil around? Oh, terrible, I guess. If I pull that out a bit more, that's another spot for this drink bridge. For now, oh, no one's buying this tea. Oh, they bought that one, that's good. I just want them to clear these shelves so I can fully stock them. One thing I wish there was was um, you know, give give the bloody store manager a PDA or something. Is that two different boxes of peanut butter. That's a bit uh, lazy, isn't it? Um, give me a, P a PDA or a notebook or something so I can go around the shelves and say I need, yep, I need coffee, I need plaster, and then go back to the computer and order it. Because at the moment, it's all just trying to memorize it. <laughs> Which uh, you'll find is not my strong suit. Yeah, here's what it is. I'll end that day there, actually. At 9 o'clock, served 45 customers, and we've got a healthy balance again. So, soda flour, peanut butter, and eggs. All changed. Fine. 350 will make that. 350. Uh, soda, eggs. That's closer to $5 now. Flour, was it? Three. Yep. Peanut butter. Put one down. Okay. Before I buy this extra license, I'm gonna make sure I'm fully stocked of everything I already have. Pop that back in the corner, hopefully. There we go. So yeah, I just I like to avoid having any customers not being able to get an item, so I always try and stock fully before the doors open. And basically this is just how I do it. Run through a couple of everything. I, mean, I suppose I could do it during the day. This means I'll be chasing my tail a little bit. I do just want to be able to um Get organized before I get this license in, and then I might start doing that actually. Get things moving a little bit quicker. Might eventually need to start dedicating whole displays to these, like the flour and the, the pasta that only have eight per shelf because they just don't last long enough. They're salty because there's so much of it. Now, you don't necessarily need to restock that during the day. I don't think I've already done the water, haven't I? What else have we got here? More oil. That's around the corner now. You can put oil with the cleaning products, right? Definitely going to need several more boxes of cheese. And at least one or two more boxes of coffee. Alright, let me get these drinks sorted as well. 
wrong, wrong kind. Uh, yeah, juice. Basically, still need one of everything. I like these uh, railings on the stairs, it's a bit annoying. That other juice. Is it hidden? I don't see what's left in the box, so I wonder how much I've actually thrown out over the <laughs> over the time so far. Still had in there. Okay. So what did I say? I needed more cheese. I needed more coffee. Three cheeses. Coffee should do it. Move on. Definitely need eggs. Grab milk. I'm good for tea. Good for peanut butter. I think I'm good for spaghetti. Definitely need oh, I'm at the max. I must say, it is really satisfying when you um, finish loading the shelves and everything is just like so full, all neat. Ah, oh, I've got dairy products sitting in the corner there. My bad. Probably should. Use these first, not that it matters. Eggs. Uh, I got plenty of eggs, might just store these. Coffee. Store that there for now. Flour. And a bit more rice as well. Extra cheese. Rest of that extra cheese. Beautiful. And oil. Okay, what am I missing? Ah, oh, there's six packs of milk for sure. I need one, two, three, and that's five. I might just grab one of each soda and juice. Because we're saying soda. I'm going to call it soda. <laughs> hey, is that cool? Definitely not Diet Coke. This stuff is weird. There's six packs of milk out on the shelf. But it seems to absolutely fly. I had some spare storage space left on the shelves, so I've basically just dedicated it to, to this. Again, because there's only six on a shelf, it does need to be restocked regularly, so I think it makes sense to give it a full display.
Okay. Alright, last thing. What have we got? Sixteen hundred dollars. Gonna make sure I pay my bills. And pay back my loan. Ouch. Can I afford seven fifty? But can I afford the products? Have a look. Bleach cleaner, dishwasher tablet, and soap, shampoo, toilet paper. One of each. Right, toilet paper doesn't have much in a box. What is that? Shampoo. Need to eat this through so I don't end up um, trying to redo the shelves like I did over here. Because then you get little stragglers left behind and it's just a pain because you can't individually manage things that you've already placed on a shelf. Trying to avoid that. Let's see everything next to each other. The bleach, alright? Bleach will go here. Oh, I suppose next to the bleach is the other cleaning product. Then I'll have the soap and the shampoo on a shelf. I'm just trying to put things together logically. Probably actually would have put the soap on the top shelves, but that's just me being pedantic. And then above the toilet paper we'll have the dishwasher tablets. For now. I might even need to have a dedicated shelf for that toilet paper, I think, otherwise it's going to go way too quickly. I'm going to open the day. I know that's not going to be enough to last me through the day, but hopefully the, a bit of cash flow will um, let me just keep that stocked up. Apart from that, everything was pretty good, I think. Looks like it. The next investment might be some shelving in here. The issue is because the bin is out the front, there's really... N and this feels out of the way still. But, you know, if I clear this up, there's room for a dedicated toilet paper shelf there or something, for example. Maybe even two. Oh, I haven't set any prices. Great. Everyone's getting free shampoo. Now, uh, what's that? 20. 50. Wow. Three. Oh. Bleach. Dirty rat customers. Trying to rip me off. I actually see the price on the screen when he does this. And I'm gonna make sure that price applies to the cleaning products. So soap. Nope, soap. Yep. Two dollars. Pull up over 15. That's apply, that's good. A lot of bleach there, buddy. Is everything okay? He looks nervous. I think he might be trying to uh, light up a murder scene. Seems the type. Okay. I think I'm just going to go through and grab another one of everything shortly. I'm going to need 330. A couple more transactions should do it. I hope they fix this. Why would three people line up at this one when this one's free? I mean, we haven't talked about how charming and attractive my cashier is, but, you know. 
Got his twin over here. I'm going to grab this now. Get these out on the shelves. I hope that the rest of the shop is faring okay because I haven't even had a chance to look at the rest of the stock. Really should have tried to swap these over. That's alright. It'll annoy me, it won't annoy anyone else. Which is proving to be a popular item. Yeah. If I can, oh, no one's bought any oil. I suppose that's the benefit: is the more products you have, uh, people are buying different things rather than lots of the same thing. It seems to be. Still, no one's bought that tea. They're doing it just to annoy me now. Yeah, okay, put that there. What else have we got? Coffee, flour. Oh, this oil. Yep, that's still popular. Look at this. I oh, know, two of them are in this line. Stack all that up at this point. One remaining salt. Go. I think the most efficient thing to do is actually leave the storage right next to the shelf, isn't it? I mean, customers don't seem to mind. It doesn't seem to make any uh, any difference. Vastly cuts down on your uh, travel time. And then do it again. Throw out four perfectly good cartons of milk. It's a dedicated area because that's just lying. And all the drinks are going as well. is happening. What time is it? Nearly nine o'clock. Nearly done for the day. So not much else I could do now. That again. There. Nine o'clock is here. Can't buy any more. Trying to get this last product on the shelf.
Don't know about that bloody tea bag. One little box. Plenty of people buying from over here. Just buy this one. Never need to let that run out of stock just so they have to buy it. Rice of coffee. Oh, that's pretty close. Um. Okay, you guys done? Beautiful. Day over. Okay, tea, spaghetti, cereal. Well, played a few days in the new store. I think I might leave it there for now. Um, I'm just struggling to see how this series is going to go because very quickly it's just going to turn into you watching me stock shelves on repeat. Until I can get some more staff, it's going to be pretty monotonous. But I'll, I'll see how it goes. But it might call the end of the end of the series. But um, look, if this is something you're enjoying and you want to see more, please let me know. I'm more than happy to listen. If it is uh, still entertaining. Um, but otherwise, I'll leave it there. I'm Faintly Saintly. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you like this and want to see more. And as I said, any feedback in the comments will be appreciated. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.